want to cut in before the video starts, grab yourself a cup of tea, maybe a little snack because this video is going to be long. I'm going to speed through it as much as I can but it's a long ass video so get, get yourself comfortable. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a very impromptu video so excuse the hack of me. I'm actually sitting here in like an old Tyler t-shirt that I made during the summer and my pyjamas and my slippers. I am in the process of redoing this room and part of that was getting some new drawers. So I got myself the new Alex drawers. Um, I know like every beauty YouTuber in the world has these at this point, but they're actually, I think, going to be really, really functional. Um, I've tried to get other things across the years that were similar to them that weren't them and they just haven't worked as well. So I'm just giving in and I'm getting them um, or I've gotten them. So I need to go through all of my makeup basically because we are now half, when I'm filming this I'm halfway through November and um, so we're very close to the end of the No Beauty by Year. If you haven't been following me before or you're just, if you're just stumbling across this video, basically this year I challenged myself to do a No Beauty by Year so I haven't been allowed to buy any makeup or any skincare unless I've completely used up that item in my collection so for example if I completely run out of cleanser then yeah I can go and buy a cleanser um, or if I completely run out of foundation I can go and buy a foundation and um, so with skincare and stuff uh, I definitely have run out of stuff but with makeup I haven't I have so much makeup it's actually ridiculous so going into next year I want to definitely like cut down on the amount of makeup I have so I'm doing a big clear out. Um, I wanted, in an ideal world, I would love for everything to fit inside of this um, Alex unit. Looking at all of the makeup that I have here now, I don't really know if that's realistic, but we're gonna try. I'm basically gonna take it like section by section and I'm going to have two baskets here in front of me. One for things that are expired, which I think is going to be a bigger basket, and then one for things I'm gonna give to like my friends and family and stuff like that. So, Without further ado, let's get started. Um, so yeah, I have loads of bits kind of dotted around the room. Um, I think I'm gonna start with this like unit first because I have quite a bit in here that kind of needs to go. I'm gonna try and do it like section by section. So I'm gonna try to do like my foundations, then my eyeshadow palettes, then maybe my lipsticks and stuff like that. And I will do my best to leave time codes down in the description box if you're interested in one particular section or just wanna skip ahead or whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna start with foundations because that's one of the things that I have the most of. So I have gotten rid of a good few throughout the year because they have just gone expired and I knew that they were expiring. Okay, so what I basically have is inside of this drawer, I have like these little units that I got from Ikea. So that's what I keep everything in, in case you're wondering. I love seeing like what other people store their makeup in and stuff like that. I have these, this BB cream and CC cream from Seventeen. Um, I have used them before. I think I did a whole video on trying Seventeen makeup. Um, which I will link below or link above or something like that but I've never been drawn back to them I think they're actually fine I from my recollection I think they're actually grand but I haven't used them and it's probably been about a year and a half now and I have to be honest no desire to go back to them at this point so I am going to unfortunately get rid of them I feel like honestly so bad getting rid of makeup um, but what can I do at the end of the day I actually physically can't get through it all um, I also have this from Kaylin. Should I zoom you in a bit more? So I have this like compact from Kaylin and I really, really liked the BB Fluid Touch compact from Kaylin, but I know I've had this a good few years now. It's also like pretty much completely out. There's probably one or two little bits in it left that I was kind of like holding on for. I don't know why I try to like hold on to foundations and stuff when they're at the very last bit. I don't know why I don't just use it up and get another one if I really want it that badly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye to that because I know I've had it for way too long. Um, the next one I'm gonna say goodbye to is this one from Rimmel. I actually really, really like this, but I can see coming down it, it's pretty much gone now, and I know I have so many foundations, so I'm trying my best to be as ruthless as possible. I then have some foundations from Seventeen. Now you will know that these have been my most favorite. If you followed me for a while, you'll know these are my holy grail foundations. Um, and I've loved them so much, but unfortunately, I tried to use one of them recently, and I just knew by it that it was starting to expire. Um, which means they all are because I got them all in the exact same order, which is so sad um, But look it is what it is. I know that this one here hasn't been touched So it's still in its packaging So I'm gonna hold on to this one and pray that it's okay. The other ones though I'm unfortunately gonna have to say goodbye to and it makes me so sad um, This one from Isadora the cover-up this is pretty much completely gone. So I think I'm just 
Mm, I'm unsure. I'll leave that to the main pile for a minute because it's basically gone anyways. This is a relatively new foundation. This is the Paisa Long Cover Fluid. Um, I haven't had that very long so I am going to keep that. My CYO foundation, the long lasting one, this is really really good. I heard a rumour that CYO was leaving Boots but it's been about a year now and it still hasn't left so I don't know if it actually is leaving or not. So I'm gonna hold on to this anyways because I do really really like it. Again, like see the way I use like half of this and I didn't use the end because I'm like, oh my god, it's leaving. I need to like savor this and like it's so stupid. <laughs> um the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. Do you know what? Like I'm gonna give this to one of my family members or one of my friends because I just don't really like this. Like it's fine. I did a foundation files on it and like the results were good from it. I don't know what it is about this foundation, I just don't really like it. So um, even though it's a good foundation, I'm going to pass it along. I actually have two of the Paisa ones, so I know that this is a newer one, so I am going to just get rid of this one because I know that that's been sat in my collection for far too long at this point. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Face Stick. I absolutely love this, so I'm going to hold on to that one. This is the Maybelline Urban Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I think this is fine. This gets a lot of hype online. I think it's fine. It's nothing major. I think I'm going to hold on to it. I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. I'm not going to get rid of it because like, I only bought this um, just before I started the No Beauty Buy. So it is one of the newer foundations to my collection. But I might give this to one of my friends. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'll put this into the maybe pile. This I'm just going to get rid of. It's the May uh, Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I didn't find it any good to be honest. So I'm like, it's still half full and I literally... I don't even think I've used it once this year, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is the Love Extraordinary Protected Protecting Fluid Foundation. I honestly love this. This is so good. If you see this anywhere, pick it up. Um, I really, really like it, so I am gonna hold on to that one. Next up then is from e.l.f. and this is the Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm gonna hold on to this because I do quite like it, even though when I did my foundation files on it recently, it didn't actually score as best it didn't score as well as I thought it would um, and it didn't perform as well as I thought it would but I do really like it so I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer I think. I might come back, I might just do this like initial call and then come back and um, see how we get on. This is the Sleek Life Proof Foundation Medium to Full Coverage Sweat Proof Oil Free Foundation. This actually is quite good but I don't ever feel my, it's not one of those foundations that I'm like, oh my god, I love that, I want to wear it. It's not kind of way, but technically when you wear it, it is very, very nice and it is good. I'm just not that drawn to it. The same, it's the same with the Stila, like yes, they're technically good foundations, but they don't have that like, I don't have like an emotional connection to them. So I'm going to pass that along to a friend, I think. The Revolution Pro Cover, Full Coverage Camouflage Foundation. I can't remember what I think of this. I must go back and watch my foundation files video on it because I can't really remember it so I'm going to put this in the maybe pile for it the time being and um, then I have another one of the CYO foundations this is like a much darker shade so I use that kind of like for going out when we were allowed to do that before before the pandemic and <laughs> um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation this is actually quite good and I might continue using this as like a daytime foundation so I am going to hold on to that for now and um, then this is the Urban Decay all Nighter Foundation. I absolutely adore this foundation. I'm definitely going to keep this. I love it so much. It's a brilliant foundation. Um, same with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm actually getting to like nearly the end of this now, so I am going to use this up. This is really, really good. If you see this anywhere, definitely pick it up. It's brilliant. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Um, I'm not a big fan of this. I used to be when I first used it, um, and then I used it recently for a foundation files and I wasn't a big fan. So I'm gonna pass that along to one of my friends and see how they get on with it. The Note Luminous Moisturizing Foundation. It's a funny thing with this one. Um, I didn't think I liked it initially, um, so I didn't use it for ages. And then recently I used it in one of my, again, foundation files. And I actually ended up loving it. So I do think I'm gonna hold on to this for another while longer. Uh, next up then is the PS My Color Matte Foundation from Pennies. I do really like this. I think it's great. It's great as a, um, I suppose like a, a natural everyday foundation. It's only like six euro. I do really, really like it. So I'm gonna hold on to it for the time being, but I know I'll probably end up ha handing this over to one of my friends at some point. I think the last foundation I have then is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. I'm also gonna hold on to this because it's a great foundation. It's actually what I'm wearing today. If it's actually a very good everyday foundation. This unfortunately has been discontinued, which I'm so sad about, but um, yeah. So I think I'm doing well to have cut down so much out of foundation. The last one then I have is the It Cosmetics 
Cosmetic CC Cream. I know it's not a foundation, but it kind of is. I'm gonna hold on to this. I have a very little amount left in this anyways, so I'm gonna make it my mission to kind of finish this in the next little while. So that would leave me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 foundations, that's still a lot, isn't it? Okay, let's let's go through it a bit more. This is such a tough decision. No, do you know what? I'm gonna hold on to these ones and I'm gonna make it my mission over the next like month and a half or even into January or something like that to get rid of half the foundations. Like there's some of these here that I've nearly finished, like this CYO one, the It Cosmetics, this one here, um, the Isadora one, the Milani one. These are all like pretty much half done. So I'm gonna make it my mission to just finish these off. Same with this one, like most of them are actually half finished. Um, and I'm just gonna be have to, I'm gonna be ha I'm gonna have to just be very ruthless next year and really like get through my foundations. <laughs> um, okay, on to I suppose primers and um, that kind of stuff. I have a few here. So this is the NYX Pore Filler. I've had this forever, so that's going straight into the into the bin. And um, this is the 17 Stay Time Long Wear Primer. Not that bothered about it. Don't think it's great. Wouldn't even pass it on to one of my friends. Um, the next one then I have is the Perfect Primer from Penny's. I know that this has been sitting in my collection for like two, three years. I'm gonna get rid of that because it's definitely expired at this point. We have this Bare Kiss Illuminator from Sleek. I can tell by the consistency that it's already kind of gone. Um, so I'm just gonna put that out into the bin as well. The unfortunate thing with makeup is that it just doesn't last. Like it's so annoying. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm gonna get rid of is the Botanics All Bright. I'm not a big fan of this actually. When it first came out, the whole the country in my friend sold out for ages. But you know what, like it's actually not that great. Much better ones have come to the market ever since then. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that at the moment actually. Um, I This is the Wet n Wild Primer, the Coverall Primer. Not a massive fan of this, so I am gonna just get rid of it. And I know I've had it for too long anyways. The Essence Prime and Studio Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't think it's great, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna pass it on to my friends and see if they get on better with it. Next up then, I have the Lacora Snapshot Ready Illumination Primer. I actually really like this. I think this is really good. This is from Aldi. It's like a dupe of the Smashbox one. I've never used the Smashbox one, so I can't say if it's a dupe or not, but that's kind of like, it looks like it and loads of people have compared it to it. Um, but I really like this. Um, it would definitely make me want to try the Smashbox one. <laughs> I then have this like Illuminator from e.l.f. So I am gonna hold on to this for another little while because I do quite like this as well. And um, the last two then I have are from, these are actually from Penny's. They're like the pure, they're, like, they're liquid highlighters essentially. Um, I use them underneath my base because when you first put it on, you look like the Tin Man, but then when you put your foundation on on top of it, I feel like it just looks really nice. I know some people don't like that, but I actually really do like it. So I have two of them. I'm going to keep one of them and pass one of them on to one of my friends to see how they get on with it. And that is all for primers, I think. I might have one or two sitting around somewhere, but that's most out of this box anyways. I do also have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea four in one setting spray. I'm gonna get rid of this because I just don't like it. It's not great. I didn't find it did anything. I really like the packaging of it. I think it's beautiful packaging, but no, needs to go. On to concealers then and kind of other base products. I have this one from 17. It's the like foir or paint. Um, again, like I literally dipped my hand in this once. I don't know why I buy concealers like this because it's not what I typically go towards. I'm actually just going to probably hand that over to my friends to see how they get on with it. Um, then I have these from Contrice. These I'd say are definitely well gone. I have these years now, so I'm gonna hand, I'm gonna put these into the bin, but these are basically like lightning drops. They're supposed to be like a dupe of the Body Shop ones. Um, I actually really like them. I think they're quite good, especially the darkening ones. I think they're great. And so I would repurchase them, but for the time being, they're just gonna need to go out to the bin. <laughs> I have this concealing pencil from Penny's. It literally still has the packaging on it. I haven't used it, but considering I, been sat here now for a year and I haven't used it. I'm gonna just pass it on to one of the girls to see how they get on. Next up then is the e.l.f. Camouflage Concealer. I can see by the consistency here that this is starting to go expired, so I'm just gonna throw that out straight away. The Sleek Pow, oh my God, I've had this years. I love this so much. This is basically like a color correcting palette um, from Sleek. I think it's great, but I've had this for years and I can see there's just like dusted bits in it. So no, not putting that on my face. Again, um, this is the Sleek Life Proof Concealer. 
this is fine it's nothing special it's fine um, I wouldn't be a massive fan of it and from what I can see here it's actually nearly finished anyways yeah and what I hated about it as well was that inside in this like there's you know when you like push this in when you pull it back out again there's like a thing here that basically like stops like most of the concealer coming out so you have to put it into about 15 million times to get enough concealer so no it's not but no then I have two concealers I haven't even opened so I'm gonna hold on to them we have the Tarte Shape Tape and then the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer so I'm gonna hold on to the two of them ones anyways the next one I have is the Revolution Pro full cover camouflage concealer I do quite like this I think this is actually really good as like an eye based primer um, it's quite a thick, heavy concealer, so it makes it really, really good for priming your eyes. It is quite heavy in your under eye area, so if that's something that concerns you, I'd stay away. But if that's something that you're looking for, it's a really good version. Then I have another one of these full of concealer as well. So this one is from, from this one is from Physicians Formula. I think I got this in my first year of college, and I haven't used it since. So this needs to go to the bin. Um, what else do we have? Um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm actually, this is literally empty, so that needs to go anyways, and it's growing because I have a backup one. This is from e.l.f. It's not great. Um, it's like one of these products I got over in America like two years ago, um, and I haven't really used it. It's not great at all. And um, this is the Crease For You, oh no, Cares For You. So my camera died there, so I, if, if it's moved, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back to it anyways, we were doing concealers. So with the Aldi concealer, I actually do really like this one. This is the concealer pen, but I really hate these types of concealer. Like I hate the tips of them. I hate when they're that like brush. I just think they're so icky and like the concealer dries down on them and then you're pushing more concealer through it. I just, I'm not here for it. Next up then I have this one from Note. It's the full coverage concealer I can see that this is actually pretty much gone already there's very very little left in it so I'm just gonna get rid of it but in general this is a great concealer and um, this one from Penny's I can see his start to separate so I'm just gonna get rid of it um this is another one from Aldi it's the Radiant concealer I actually really, really like this Ooh, I really really like this this is great for like everyday going to work kind of concealer fab I'm gonna keep this one uh, the next one I have then is the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer. I really do like this one. I think I, mm, will I hold on to it? Yeah, I think I am gonna hold on to it because I do quite like it. I think it's quite good. Um, the next one I have then is from Barry M All Night Long. I think this is a fine concealer. It's not my favorite. Um, I'm gonna pass along to one of my friends because I have loads of them. I don't need any more at this point. This is the uh, Camouflage Concealer. Is this the same one? This might be just a newer version of this, but I don't like it as much. Maybe the, maybe the formula has, oh, this is waterproof and this isn't, that's what it is. This is the waterproof version. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Um, I just found it patchy and a bit drying and it was my favorite. So I'm gonna pass that maybe on to one of my friends because I wasn't the biggest fan, but they might like it. Next up then I have the concealer from Paisa. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this for a little while. Mm, will I? Yeah, I will. I do quite like this. I'm gonna hold on to this for a little while longer. I do quite like it, I think it's great, so I am gonna hold on to it. So I'm actually quite happy. I only have like two, four, six concealers. Great, I might have some more now when I go through other bits, but so far so good, guys. We've gotten rid of like two of these already, which is great. And we've managed to get all of the concealers into the foundation ones, that's great. So I'm gonna pop this. Where am I gonna leave this? What would we go through next? Let's do palettes next. Oh, such a heavy folder, folder basket. Um, okay, so this is my Disney palette. I got this in pennies. It has all the villains in it So when you open up each different section you end up with this beautiful palette So even though it's quite big, I do really like it I actually haven't even used it that much to be honest with you But I just love the packaging so much for me This is more of a like a collector's item than anything else and I really really like it So I'm definitely gonna ha hang on to this even just for like sentimental reasons So I'm gonna hold on to that one this then is the Essence Beautiful palette. I bought this over in America like a year ago maybe, um, and I really, really like it. The, the shadows in it are actually really, really good, um, but I don't pull for it that often, so I'm gonna pass this along to one of my family members maybe, I think, and see how they get on with it because they might get a bit more use than me. Uh, next up is the Blank Canvas Master Series palette one. This is a fantastic palette. This is really, really good. These are actually um, going, I was gonna say going extinct. These are um, being made like, what's the word? 
they're being discontinued. <laughs> um, I really do like it. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while longer just because I really do like it. So I am gonna hold on to it for a little while longer and also it's a brilliant palette. This is gorgeous if you're just like going away for a weekend you wanna bring some small. That's fab, so I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, this Essence palette. This is a really nice Essence palette. This is one from, I think it was last year, last year's collection. This is the Wanted Sunset Dreams. Like, this is a beautiful palette. Um, I think I'm gonna pass this along over maybe to like my little cousin or something, um, because I think she'll get more use out of it, and I have these shades a million times over. So I think I'm gonna give that to somebody else. Next up, I have this palette from Morphe. It's a gorgeous kind of looking palette. Um, but you know what? It's not the best. It's a bit patchy. It doesn't live up to my like Morphe expectations. So I'm gonna pass this along to see if any of my friends will get better use out of it. Next up is this palette called Yes Please from Colourpop. And it's a gorgeous like looking palette. It looks gorgeous. But you know what? It's 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 not my favourite. Like it's not. Um I might pass this along again because I don't really pull for it that often. Next up then from Colourpop is Dream Street. This was a collaboration with Kathleen Lights and like I love this palette. This is one of my most favourite palettes. I'm definitely holding on to this like forever. <laughs> um, next up then I have this one from Tarte. Again, this is more for me like a collector's item than anything else. I just think that the shell is so pretty. I just love it so much. Um, and the shadows in it are absolutely stunning. They're brilliant, they're really, really good. I think that Tarte do really, really good shimmer shadows. Um, I had heard like great hype about, about Tarte before I went to America and then I picked up, do I even have it? Yeah, I have it here. The Toasted Palette, or no, yeah, the Toasted Tarte Le 3 Palette. And I just didn't have as much luck with this. Um, I actually, like it makes me sad to like, give this away because it's such a pretty palette and it's so expensive and it's tart which I can't get here in Ireland. Oh, maybe I'll keep it. But I literally have not used this once all year. No, I need to give this away. I need to give this to somebody else. <laughs> Being so strict on myself right now. Um, the next thing I have is Essence All About Bronze. I got these years ago, to be honest. They're gorgeous little palettes, so good, but I've had this years, so I'm not even gonna pass that along. I'm gonna just get rid of that one straight away. Um, the next one is the Forgive Me Susie palette. This is like an absolutely ideal palette to bring um, traveling with you if you're going anywhere, even for a weekend away, because like it's literally so small, but it gives you enough to work with to do kind of either a really simple day look or kind of a like nice glam look as well. Like maybe like a soft glam moment. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Next up then, I actually have a good few palettes from Sleek. I have a good few of them. So I am gonna probably get rid of some of these. I have them all. I'm gonna keep the original, I think, because I love this palette. This is one of my faves as well. I know some people just absolutely hate Sleek and I don't know why. I do think it's because some of these palettes are great, but some of them are actually amazing. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile, actually. Mm. This is the ultra matte v2 palette again you see like i like one or two of the shades in here but i don't pull from all of them i might put like a maybe pile and depot some of them because some of the shades are great but some of them i don't use and like they're quite like they're not they're not massive palettes but they still take up a good bit of space in your in your drawer this is the del mar volume 2 palette this is a really nice palette but i just don't use it i don't really use these colors so i'm gonna pass that along see if any of my friends will get use out of it this is the Celestial palette. Um, again, gorgeous palette, but I just don't really use these colors. And I know I have these colors in other palettes as well. So again, I'm gonna pass that one on. What's next? Um, you Had Me At Hello by Colourpop. Uh, this is like a really pretty palette, but I don't have... I feel like this is like meh. Like it's not great, but it's not bad. It's just meh. Next up I have the Lion King palette, the Wild Side from Penny's actually. You know what? This is actually a great palette. Like it's really, really good. Um, oh, will I keep it? Will I not? No, I'll pass this on. I'll pass this on. I need to be ruthless because I know I have still more palettes over there. <laughs> um, then with my eyeshadow palettes, no, like I'm holding, these are my Essence Princess ones and no, I'm holding on to all four of these. I genuinely do use all four of these like regularly enough um, and I just love them for, again, like 
these are like collector's items for me, so I'm gonna hold on to them. Um, what's this one? Oh, this is from Sample Beauty. I love this palette, it's so good. I've never tried, I don't think I've tried Sample Beauty before. I got this as a Christmas present last year and I haven't even gotten like mo a lot of use out of it because I have so many freaking palettes, but I really, really like this. Um, the Gloriana shade there in the middle, stunning. Next up then, I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics LMD palette. This is like a fantastic palette, would definitely recommend, but to be honest, I haven't used it in a long time. So I'm gonna pass along, see if any of my friends will get use out of it. Um, what's next? We have, oh, my custom PS one. Oh. See, I loved putting this little palette together, like the PS one, I really did love putting this together. But I just feel like I haven't really used the shades in so long, but they all are, like if I would stand by every single one of these shades. And I really do like it. Oh, I don't know what to do with this one. No, we'll get rid of it. I have this, I've got a Z palette from Inglot, but everything in it is kind of shattered. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but everything in it is kind of shattered. So I'm gonna get rid of those ones. There's three or four of the eyeshadows that are still like salvageable. So I'm gonna sort this out. So then the last one I have is from, it's actually the last one I have, I have more there. The last one out of this little drawer here is the natural one from Aldi. I have not used this yet, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Um, let's see how we get on. I have more palettes just there now. One second. I have more palettes here. So I have the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is like one of my most favorite palettes of all time. I love it so much. I'd say I use this every single month without fail. It's just brilliant. There's some of the eyeshadows in here that I just have not found in any in any other palette. I love them so much. They'd be specifically like these burnt this burnt orange one, this cranberry color. Some of the eye some of the shimmer eyeshadows are just beautiful in it. Again, though, it's one of those those palettes where easy I could take like the four or five that I like out of it and not have such a big palette. But I don't really mind having a big palette to be honest. Like, yeah, they're a little bit difficult to store, but because I have because I have one of these that will pretty much sit on my desk, having the big palettes doesn't really make a difference because they just slot into that. So it's actually not too bad. So I definitely will hold on to that one. The next one then is the Carnival 3 palette. So I only just got this for my birthday, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. Um, it's such a beautiful palette. I've been looking at this all year. Look at this, like, oh my God. I have been looking at this all year and, I'm a, and it, it came out, like, I don't know, halfway through the year or maybe like in the like first third of the year. And, um, Oh, I was so jealous of everyone being able to use it. I was on my No Beauty Buy, so I couldn't get it. And then my bestie bought it for me for my birthday. <laughs> so I'm definitely, definitely not getting rid of that. Um, this is another one of my favorites. This is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Palace. I love this. It's such a fantastic palette. This often goes on sale on Beauty Bay. It's usually about like 27, 30 euro. Usually, and, and then when they, but sometimes they do like sales and stuff. Um, I remember I got this for like 15, 16 euro and it's fantastic. Like it's so good. The quality of the eyeshadows is second to none. I would definitely recommend getting it. And I'm really excited to make, to explore this brand a bit more next year because this was a brilliant introduction. Loved it so much. Next up then is the Sosu by Kaylee Urban Bible Palette. Love this palette. Definitely I'm gonna keep this one. I think it's great. Do you know what? It's one of those, it's one of those palettes that because it's so pigmented, I actually don't use it all that often. But you know when you're just trying to do a certain look, this just comes through every single time. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. And then the next one is the Be Perfect Carnival palette, the like original one. So I'm not really sure about this. I think I'm actually going to pass this on. I need to compare the two of these and make sure I have, yeah, you see the pinks are a little bit different. See, in, in, in the original one, there's like three or four shades that I really, really, really love, and I haven't really had a chance to play with this yet. So I think this might go into my maybe pile because ultimately this has like pretty much all the same shades as this one, but at the same time, I do like this. But is there really a need for me to have all of these eyeshadow palettes? Probably not. So I'm gonna put that one into my maybe palette and this one's definitely, I'm keeping that one for sure. My little basket for giving away to friends is overflowing. So I'm gonna put it into one of these. <laughs> okay, so next up then is like powders, bronzers, everything kind of like face related that is a powder. So let's go through this. Let's start with some powders. So I got this rice powder from Penny's but my dry ass skin just cannot tolerate pretty much any powder. So I really, if I'm using a powder, like it will take me a year to get through one powder and I have a million of them. So I'm gonna pass this along and see if my friends need it because I certainly don't. 
Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one from Paisa. This is my one of my most favorites. It's the Paisa rice powder. It is brilliant. It's beautiful. It's one of the only powders my skin can actually tolerate. So I really, I am definitely gonna hold on to this one. This one, the next one then is from Kiko. It's a really nice one, but as I said, like I just don't use powders enough. So I'm gonna pass that along to one of my friends and see if they'll get use out of it because I just, I won't get through the amount I have already. This one from e.l.f. Um, I'm gonna hold on to because I'm very, very close to finishing it anyways. So I'm just gonna finish this one up. So I'm gonna hold on to those two powders. The rest of them I am going to, going to give away. Um, then looking at highlighters, I have this really big palette from, it's like the Penny's Disney collection. So it has Ariel on the front, which I love. Um, and it has these shades in it here, which are beautiful. And I love the packaging so much, but like, if I'm being very honest, like I don't ever, ooh, I don't ever use it, but it's such pretty packaging that I'm like, just hold it as a collector's item but then I'm like I never use it so that's a really stupid thing that's a stupid thing to do but then I'm like yeah but it's really pretty though oh do you know what I'll hold on to it the next one then is from sleek makeup oh yeah this is a lovely palette as well you see this is really nice it has like your bronzer and kind of like a and then two different highlighters they're really good I really like them but I have so many so this is going to go to a friend next up then is a highlighter palette from again disney by primark and this was the lion king be fierce palette like oh such a pretty palette like so so nice i'm going to keep this one because i really think it's so pretty i don't really use it that much but again like with highlighters i typically will like leave one out and then not use any other ones again for ages i really do think though like with highlighters like i don't feel the need to get any new ones the only ones that i would consider getting at this point in time are like cream ones from sculpted by amy so i don't think next year like i might just say to myself like no highlighters until you cut down a bit you know maybe we'll see don't hold me to that and um, this one here is from elf this is a really nice little palette as well it has like a blusher and a bronzer in it i'm gonna hold on to this for another little while longer because i haven't really gotten to use it yet i am um, actually do i have a hand i'm very nearly finished my pocahontas palette here um which i which I, if you've been following me you know i've been using it pretty much for the second half of the year i'm very close to finish the bronzer in this palette i don't use the other shades so um this is very close to being finished so once this is done i think i'll go and use this one and see how we get on with that so i am going to hold on to it the next highlighter that i have is from pennies again i actually really really like this one it's called mink pink and it's really really nice i do like it i am going to hold on to it um, the next one I have then is from e.l.f. This is the contour palette. Do you know what? I've had this a long time. I'm actually just gonna get rid of that because I, I, I've had it a long time. Um, same with this blusher palette. Even though I do really, really like it, I've had it a long time now. So I am just gonna get rid of that straight away. Oh my God, I mean, so ruthless. I'm so proud of myself. This is the e.l.f. contour palette. I haven't even opened this yet, but as I said, I have so much at this point. Well, I don't really actually. I've been so ruthless. Oh no, I have more here. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna give that to one of my friends, I think. I have the Isadora bronzing palette. I find this like really good for, and I know it's not really happening at the moment because we don't have like nights out and stuff like that. But I think this is really nice for dusting along like your chest and stuff like that on a night out and just giving a bit of bronzer to your chest. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this. But then like realistically, am I gonna use it? Mm. What will I do? No, you don't need it, Erin. No, we'll get rid of it. Um, the next one is from Seventeen, the Insta Glow. You see, again, I really like these, but I've had them for so long now. I just think I need to get rid of them. Um, the next thing I have is a bronzer from CYO. I really like this. I'm gonna hold on to this one definitely because I'm actually like fucking getting rid of everything now. <laughs> um, because I actually only have like one, two. If I'm after getting rid of all of them, I have one, two. I only have these two, these two bronzers, and the end of my. Pocahontas one. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, I'm gonna hold on to the Frat Boy blusher from the Balm. I do really like that. I get good use out of it, so I'm gonna keep it. This is a highlighter from Aldi. Then it's the Lacora brand. It's a grand highlighter. Like it's it's fine. And um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. 
am I going to get good use out of it? No, nah, probably not. But I kind of want to do um, like a full face of Aldi makeup at some stage. So I'm going to hold on to it for the time being. So yeah, I have this highlighter from e.l.f. Um, I'm going to hold on to it for a little while longer because I do really like it. It's really nice because it has like a blusher on one side and a highlight on the other. So I'm going to keep that for a little while longer, I think. This is like a little Too Faced bronzer. It's like a little sample, but I don't use it. So I'm going to see if my friends want it. If not, it can go out. Um, this is a little blusher from Kiko. I'm gonna see if my friends want it. If they don't, no worries. But um, I've gotten my use out of it now. I don't really need it. I then have my Mary Lou. My Mary Lou highlighter. Do you remember that one? That was the rage. Literally everyone in Ireland wanted it. <laughs> um, it's shattered inside and I've had it for years and years and years. So I am gonna, I'm just gonna get rid of it at this point. I think it's time. <laughs> um, do I have any other ones? Oh, I have a palette here. I have this palette here, it's from Penny's. I use this literally every single day. So I'm definitely gonna hang on to this for another while longer. Love this so much. It's so good. Like honestly, I think sometimes people have a thing about Penny's makeup, but it's actually genuinely so good. Like I actually dare you to try like five items and not like one. <laughs> I say five because sometimes like you do pick up duds and I don't want you to just pick up one bad one and just think they're all bad. But like try just a couple of different products. I promise you, you will. You'll come back and thank me. I will save you some dollars. I think I'm gonna do this bit next. So this is all of like my loose glitters and kind of like eye products. So first thing I'm getting rid of straight away is this thing from Kaylin. It's like a bronzy cream eyeliner, but I've had it for years and I know it's probably just expired at this point. So we'll say goodbye. Then this is the Love Brow Attitude, like brow attitude, like brow attitude. Um, eyebrow sculpting cream. I, I'm just not a big fan of these types of products so I'm gonna pass that along to a friend see if they get on better what's this I've had that this is just like a liquid glitter from um, NYX it's not even opened but I know I've had it too long it definitely is not gonna work so I'm just gonna get rid of it Um, liquid glitters then I've one from pennies from last year that still looks to be okay I have this um one from glam crystals from collection i'm gonna hold on to that one i'm gonna hold on to this ColourPop supernova supernova shadow they're all still fine and then i have two eyeliners here one is from mac and one is from inglot i'm gonna hold on to my inglot gel 77 i'm gonna get rid of the mac one um i'm gonna hand it on to actually one of my friends because it's still good so i'm gonna just gonna put that there then I have some like eyeshadow. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a highlighter. This is from ColourPop. I've had this for like two years now. Um, it's the Flexitarian one. I would definitely recommend it. It's really, really good. I find a really nice way to apply this is with the Beauty Blender. I find that's the best way to apply it, but I've had it for quite a while now. I'm actually, I've actually hit pan in it and I've had it for too long, so I'm just gonna get rid of it um, and let that be that. I then have some single eyeshadows from ColourPop. They're still like actually in their packets. They haven't even, I've never taken them out, so I'm gonna put them into that Z palette. So I'm gonna leave them there for the time being. I also have like a couple of random eyeshadows. This one from Love is beautiful. I actually used this in an Instagram eye makeup tutorial recently. It's the autumn one if you're looking through my Instagram. It's so nice, it's, it's beautiful. I actually need to try more from the brand Love because anything I've tried from them, I've loved. Really, truly like love. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely try that. This is a really nice eyeshadow from Deals, actually. It's like a really nice kind of mossy green. Lovely for this time of year. I'm gonna hold on to that one. I have this little like liquid glitter eyeshadow from Pennies. Um, so I'm gonna hold on to this because this is quite good. Um, I have kind of random stuff then. Like I have like these kind of glitters that I got up in the beauty show a couple of years ago. These are still all totally fine. I'm definitely gonna hold on to them for another while longer. Um, what else do I have here? I have like little jewels and stuff like that that I kind of do if I do have any like festival makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna hold on to all of them. I have my Inglot Jewel line. That's gonna stay with me. Then I have this from Penny or from um, Aldi. Again, like see the thing is with glitters is that sometimes I'm like, oh, I, ne I don't have any. And then other times I'm like, I never use these. I have so many. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hold on to this because I know this is something I'd use for like festivals. Is it though? Do you have enough? No, keep it, it's fine. You don't have a blue one, that's fine. Um, this is another one that I have from Essence. Again, these are kind of like, I feel like a lot of the glitters I have here are very like circumstantial or like I use them sometimes but not really. Like I'll use them for festivals or I'll use them for maybe like um, Halloween makeup I wouldn't use typically throughout the year. And then some of them I would just use all the time. Um, but no, these ones are from Essence. I'm gonna hold on to these again. Um, I have really nice kind of uh, glitter 
um, my really nice kind of like glitter pigments from uh, NYX NYX. We can get rid of this one because they have this already. So I'm gonna see if one of my other friends wants it. Again with the Urban Decay, it's this is this was so popular. This was this was the easy baked one. This was around, this was like very popular back when like Riff was very popular, if you remember that. Um, but I never really use them because I have them in other palettes, so I never really use them. And um, this one, however, is from ColourPop, and I do really like the look of it. It's kind of like a dark brown but it's kind of glittery so I might get that a go someday soon and yeah then the rest of my pigments and everything like that I am going to keep because I do actually use them so I'm going to hold on to the rest of my pigments so actually this drawer pretty much said the same I got rid of a few bits but not much so I'm just going to put this back here so I got these like acrylic um, drawers in pennies years ago now at this point I'd say pennies <laughs> The sticker still on them door for you or at the time <laughs> i'm gonna go through these now so these are actually some more glitters and stuff so this is actually like an adhesive but i'd say it's definitely gone at this point and um, so i'm gonna get rid of that i also have a duo glue here but this looks absolutely mank as well so i'm gonna get rid of that i have three brow products here then i have one from catrice this is the brow colorist this is really good actually this basically like you use it every day and it kind of dyes your hair um, over the course of like two weeks and it actually works. I actually like this. I'm going to keep this. I don't use this half as much as I should. Um, I always forget about it. This is a brow powder um, from Penny's. Again, I just don't really use brow powders so I'm going to pass that on to one of my friends. I don't even know why I picked it up. Probably because it was 2 dollars um, and I was like, I'll just try it. But no. I also have a backup then of the e.l.f. brow kit. So I know the one I have, this one here. That is, I'd say, I how much? I'd say I probably have about two to three months. I'd say I probably have about two months left in this. So I'm gonna use this one after that. So I'm gonna hold on to them anyways. I have this, I absolutely love this. This is one of my most, this is actually repurchased. This is one of my most favorite liquid glitters. It's really good. It's from, it's called Glam, Cl Glam Crystals from Collection. Very good, definitely holding on to that one. Um, then I have kind of a mixture of different like eyeliners. So, I literally have so many, it's kind of ridiculous. Like most of these are actually just dried out, so I'm just gonna get rid of them because they're no good to anybody and I'll just buy some new ones next year. This one is from Isadora and it's a brown, like it's a smoky brown one, but I actually just never use it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. This is from NYX, it's a jumbo eye pencil. It's a kind of really like light blue, almost like an iridescent blue, um, but I just have never really used it. So let's just say goodbye to that. Um, then I have the tattoo liner from Kat Von D. Let's see if this is still, yeah, that's still okay. I still get a bit longer out of that. I actually quite like the Kat Von D eyeliner. Um, it's not Kat Von D anymore, it's like KVD or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'll hold on to this one for another while. Um, then I have, I actually won um, a giveaway a couple of years ago from the BAM. Um, it was actually on Jen Morris's page actually that I won it. Um, but it was for these batter up liners. Um, I really, really like them, but I've just had them for years and I'm terrified to put them anywhere near my eyes anymore. So I am gonna get rid of them, but they were beautiful and I really would recommend them if you are looking to get kind of a new set. I also have this eyeliner that has never even been used. It's like a duo ended one from the body shop. So I have a white one here and I have a dark, is that black or brown? Brown. Um, I haven't even used it. So I'm gonna see if any of my friends want it, but um, yeah. I then have like, can you hear my voice is starting to go because I've been talking for so long. This is from Essence. This is one of my favorite ones. And actually this could be good because I'm almost running out with the other one. Yeah, this one's perfect, good to go, brilliant. This is a black eyeliner from e.l.f. It's like a kind of pen one. It's actually like not bad at all, but I have so many of them, as you can see by the state of my hand now that I don't need it. And I feel kind of weird with these kind of things passing them on to friends. Just, I don't know, there's something about eye products. I don't mind actually eyeshadow palettes, but I don't know what it is about eyeliners. I think it's because it goes so close to your actual eye. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, this one here is from Ciate. This is the Flick. Um, I remember not liking this at the time. Um, so I don't know why, I, but it looks quite good here. Why haven't I used this one? Oh, we'll hang on to it and we'll see how we get on. Um, eyeshadow, I have quite a few different like, eyeliners. These are all good, so I'm not gonna go through them individually anymore because it's taking too much time. So then with mascaras, I have this one here from Marcel. This is what I'm using at the moment. I got this in like um, a birch box. And uh, yeah, so far I'm liking it. I think it's quite good, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, I also have 
I have a good few from Essence. I have like five or six from Essence. So I'm gonna get rid of a few of them because I definitely should not have held on to half these for as long as I have them. I'm gonna hold on to the orange one. This is the Lash Princess. I like it, I don't love it. I think in general, all of the eyeshadow or all of the mascaras from Essence are brilliant. Um, this one here in particular, I am gonna hold on to it. I do like it. It's just one of the newer ones I have. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's the purple one. I prefer the orange one to the purple one. This is supposed to be for sculpted lashes and this is supposed to be for volume. Um, I prefer the orange one. Even though I do like it, I still would recommend it. I don't need all of them. I'm going to get rid of that one. I have these other two ones from Essence. This is the I Heart Extreme, the, the blue one. This is grand, but it's not as good as the purple one of these, if that makes sense. Um, this is for curl and volume. It's, it's good, but it's not great. This one here is the Get Big Lashes and um, Volume Boost from Essence. It's grand, not great. Um, the, the, my most favorite is like the purple I Heart Extreme. I think that's the best one from them. From Catrice then I have the Glam and Doll. Mascara, good, not great. So I'm gonna get rid of it at this point. Um, this is from e.l.f. This is the three in one mascara. It's fine, nothing to write home about. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is from the, this is from Aldi. It's a fine mascara, nothing great. This is more of a daytime mascara. Um, and what's the point? Like, do you know what I mean? Like what, if you're if you're gonna put on mascara, like put on nighttime mascara, you know? What's the point of a daytime mascara, realistically? And then this is the Amplified Fall Slash Mascara from Pennies. So both of these I'm gonna get rid of because I just don't use them. And I've had them too long at this point. So that's kind of ruthless. I only, I've left myself with like two mascaras proud of myself on that front. So that's really good. We got rid of a whole kind of box of stuff and this is pretty much empty as well aside from like my eyeliners, which is absolutely great. So that is pretty much everything for me today. If you've made it to this point in video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I have ended up with one full basket that my friends can dig through and see what they want. And then I have oh, another full basket that just needs to go to the bin. So I've gotten rid of two full baskets worth of stuff. I really, I feel like been strict on myself and gotten rid of loads of crap. I'm so happy. I have emptied this unit. This is now an empty unit. I've emptied all of these acrylic um, storage spaces. They're all gone now, which is great. And I have, I feel like I have so much more space and I honestly feel like once these get out of here, I feel like it will just be so much more manageable. And I'm so excited to go into the new year now and be able to like get new stuff and kind of replace this. I feel like I'm just done with that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully we won't be making another one of these again anytime soon, but thank you for watching. And I will talk to you very, very soon in my next video. Bye.